Florida man. What can I say? Hi, I'm Rick Higgins. Welcome to another episode of the Pirate Wanderer. Hola todos and all of that. Today we're going to be talking about Florida man. Who is he, you may ask? Oh, we're going to get into that in a second. But first, we have a little housekeeping to do. Wanted to give everyone an update. One, yes, I am still in Florida. Two, yes, even though it's the Sunshine State, it's not always sunny. We're having a really crappy weekend. But unfortunately, I film outdoors and this is what you get. Uh, we are still on track for moving to Barcelona in May. In fact, we are deep, 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 deep into the paperwork process. It's going. Hopefully we'll make it in time. Anyway, you didn't come here to hear about all that. You came here to hear about a Florida man. Let's explain him to you. So who is Florida man? Well, every headline you ever see that started with something weird like man breaks into a bank building and gets stuck in a vent always starts with Florida man breaks into a bank building and gets stuck in a vent. He is everywhere. He is completely iconic. And I found a whole list of headlines for what Florida man has done. And I just had to share some of them with you. You know, it's almost semi embarrassing to live here. Maybe that's one of the reasons I'm moving to Barcelona is, you, know, you never hear Barcelona man did this, this, this. It's always Florida man. And more importantly, why isn't it Florida woman? What is it that makes you women here in this state sane and all of us guys just so in order to properly share Florida Man with you, we have created a brand new segment here on the Pirate Wanderer. It is called What the News. And we even have an intro. Roll the intro. All right, we are back. Let's get the old laptop up here and see what we got. First story, Florida man was attacked during a selfie with a squirrel. What can you say? Some guy sees a squirrel on a bridge, decides he's gonna lean in really close, take a little selfie, and the squirrel up and attacks him. I can't fault him. Some squirrels are friendly. In fact, I'm gonna tell you a story about a squirrel that was very friendly. We were in Zion National Park, and there was a squirrel. Here, I'll show you a picture of him. He was following us around everywhere. Well, actually, he was following Nikki around everywhere. And we think we have a theory as to why he was friendly and didn't attack like old Florida man here. She had one of those space blankets on, the silvery, they look like aluminum foil. Well, she was cold, she had this on and she kept crinkling. And our theory was that this squirrel perhaps thought she was a Pop-Tart wrapper. Take a look at the picture on the right. He looks like he's running away from a palmetto bug, or at least he looks like the way I look like when I'm running away from a palmetto bug. Have you ever been in Florida? If you're gonna run from anything, alligators are fine. You can outrun those. Squirrels, you know, it's a squirrel, it's fuzzy, it's cute. Palmetto bugs, uh, um, I'm gonna throw a little clip up here of my latest conquest with the one. <laughs> you're gonna love this. trade baby tools of the trade i am victorious a florida man says he danced on a florida man says he danced on a patrol car in order to escape vampires correct me if i'm wrong but vampires turn into bats bats fly i don't think that going up is the answer to avoid the vampires maybe he should have crawled underneath I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking old Florida man here didn't quite think this thing out. A Florida man charged with assault with a deadly weapon after throwing an alligator through a Wendy's drive-in window. A lot of points to Florida man. He stayed with the Florida theme. You could have thrown a rock through, you could have thrown some garbage through, but no, he picked something very, very Florida. I mean, he could have thrown a pink flamingo through the window, but points for choosing the alligator. You got the whole Florida thing going. You know, you gotta like that. 
Okay, let's see what's next. Florida man gets tired of waiting at a hospital, steals an ambulance, and drives home. Okay, who wouldn't? You know, I can't really fault this guy for that. You left your wallet at home when they took you to the hospital. You don't have any money. Your phone's probably dead. You can't call an Uber. What are you going to do? You're going to walk. You're going to hitchhike. You know, they got plenty of ambulances. It's like the shopping carts at the grocery store or the CVS. You load all your crap into it. You take it home and then somebody will come get it. Same with an ambulance. You know, so far we're four stories in and I can't completely fault any of them yet. Florida man apparently painting anti-Hillary messages on Tampa Bay crabs. All right, I got to give him credit. You know, I have seen a whole bunch of Benghazi, Benghazi, what about her email messages all over the place. Painting things on aquatic livestock, you get points for this. I have no idea what else to say for this one. Now, I did make one good point because, you know, it is an anti-Hillary person. I did check. It's all spelled correctly. Florida man kicked out of Trump rally for wearing a penis on his head. Okay. Well, now we've got equal opportunity for the left and the right. I don't know what else to say, except look at this picture. The bottom right hand, there's a lady staring at him while hugging her boyfriend. What do you think she's thinking? Maybe I'll go to the left because that's a lot more impressive than my right-leaning boyfriend. I don't know, it's really hard to read her expression. You gotta give the guy points. So you got on one side, crabs. You got on the other side, penises. I'm thinking all of politics is just too sexually overrated right now. For the end, Florida man manages to misspell skewel on a warning sign. Twice. I don't know. <laughs> just, I don't know. Florida man stabs tourists despite having no arms. Now, I really, really need to read this one. I, I can't fathom. How do you do it? You put it in your mouth. You want around like a, a, a woodpecker. You put it in your feet. I mean, first of all, tourists, please. How hard is it to run away from a guy with a knife in his mouth pretending to be a woodpecker? Yeah, are you standing there going, oh, is this part of the whole Florida experience? I got to know. I got to know how it's done. I'll put this link down below. We can all figure it out together. Okay, here's one of my favorites, but not for the reasons you think. Florida man, whoops, put this back on. Florida man hides in swamp. After high-speed police chase, he gets stuck and he gets licked by a dog. I don't have a problem. You're running from the cops. You want to hide somewhere. A swamp seems like a pretty good place to hide. You know, who's going to go looking for you in there? You get stuck in a swamp. Of course, it's a swamp. Things are out there. Licking by the police dog is a nice touch, but what I love about this is look at the guy's face. Let's zoom in on it. What exactly is he feeling? And there's a part of it that's kind of like, oh shit, I got caught. I'm stuck. Somebody pulled me out of this green muck. Another part is almost like ecstasy. It's like, ooh, you know, I got a nice dog licking. I'm so happy. His face, I, I almost want to like put it on my phone so I get to see it all the time. It is just completely a classic. I didn't really realize that vampires were a problem in Florida. I've never actually seen one. I'm thinking ICE is chasing the wrong people. Instead of looking after the, the Central Americans who are trying to sneak into the country, they need to look into the vampire problem. Donald Trump, if you're listening to this, get your department to look at vampires. I can't believe that they're documented. Shkohol. Shkohol. You can't even pronounce that. I'm trying to put a Cuban accent on it. I don't know what it is. Maybe he had a bad, I bet this is a Monday. This has got one of those Monday car building, I'm still hungover from the weekends written all over it. And that's what we got in the news for Florida Man. Trust me, we are going to be coming back to Florida Man. There is unlimited material here for us. I'm still staring right now at the picture of the guy with the squirrel running after him. Like, ah!